Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for tuning in to today's uh, episode. Uh, so with me here is Milan Otajovic of Insight Plum for our second partner showcase recording. Uh, today, we're going to walk through the supply chain disruptions, ESG and procurement and data transformation. Uh, but before we get started here, I'll let Milan briefly introduce himself and we can uh, get going. Hello, everyone. My name is Milan and I work for Insight Plum as a director of uh, partnerships and alliances and together with our partners like Ziva we are trying to bring a fresh new wind to the procurement technology world and helping our customers to get most out of their technologies uh, together with partners like Ziva we are transforming the way how the uh, procurement and supply chain organizations help their own businesses to thrive in this complicated and ever-changing environment so with the sustainability efforts, you know, how does ESG reporting come into play? I know you touched upon that uh, with supplier identification and discovery through Ziva Marketplace, for example. Uh, but mm -hmm. can you touch upon that a little further? Yeah, I think it's just natural extension of what we are discussing right now. Um, maybe it's specific to Europe, but also in the US. I remember we have seen uh, initiatives initiatives related to environmental, social or governance uh, aspects of running the business, businesses um, and uh, supporting um, various aspects of sustainable business uh, growth. Uh, if we refer back to United Nations in, uh, sustainability development goals, those are actually the overall driving uh, goals which uh, countries or groups of countries like EU implement into their own internal policies. And when we look at the businesses, individual businesses, uh, many of these uh, sustainable development goals can be implemented within the business uh, right now uh, on a certain level. Uh, let's say if we focus on environment itself, um, maybe most people will think about um, carbon dioxide emissions or other things. But there are other aspects which are quite important to measure. If you are a chemical or oil and gas industry, you will have other uh, you know, substances to deal with. Um, so it is very important for companies to really start understanding better what the ESG frameworks usually are because every company operates in some legal environment and the environment dictates where the priorities should be. But not every company has the same starting level. So first, which I would say is to start looking at where the companies operate and what um, environmental, social or governance target they need to focus on. So every company is different. Reporting on ESG, is actually just the output of the initiative which needs to be in place, or rather a program than an initiative, um, which implements the ESG goals, KPIs, from the very beginning of the value chain, starting with the suppliers, continuing through the internal operations of the company, out to the output, to the sales and delivery part, of the of the of the business and throughout the whole value chain there are points where we can measure where we can probe how the performance against the set or agreed kpis or esg goals is done what is the gap where the improvements can be made and then actually only we can set up the proper governance around ESG goals. And then the reporting obviously helps you to achieve the business posture to the external world, to your actually customers, to your government. And then you can actually claim that you are um, a company fully embracing ESG reporting or being compliant with all the rules. But actually, compliance is not the goal. The goal is really to improve the environmental and social um, state of the art within the whole society. So reporting is one of the tools, but uh, it's not done for the reporting. It's done for the more important cause than just the reporting itself. For those tuning in, thank you for tuning in. I look forward to uh, 
doing this next time. Thank you, Andrew and Ziva team. I really appreciate uh, and I'm happy that we can discuss these topics. They are really uh, well-timed and uh, relevant right now. So thank you for having me. Of course, thank you.